In the movie Battle Los Angeles, a group of Marines fights off alien invaders, and in one scene even dissecting one to learn more about their enemy. I love that scene, that autopsy scene, because there's no reverence for the alien. There's no wonder on it, like, gee, look at this thing. It is like pounding on it. How do we kill this thing? And how do we save ourselves? It's not the, the, the esoteric questions here. It's too immediate. We got too many problems to deal with right now. It's about absolutely, it's about survival in that moment. You almost feel like there's another movie taking place somewhere else that's asking those questions. Well, that'll be for the Discovery Channel, won't it? I mean, later we'll, we'll have the whole expose on, yeah. you know, all that sort of stuff. And yes, that is a job for us. So to find out what alien life might really be like, I sat down with SETI astronomer Seth Shostak. What do you think it is out there? Well, consider Earth. Earth has had life for three and a half, four billion years. And if uh, all but the last 10% uh, of that, really, it's been life you would, you would need a microscope to see. It's microbes. So I suspect that if you gave me a thousand worlds with, with life, you know, maybe 90% of them would have nothing bigger than a single-celled critter. But some of them will have gone beyond that. What would they look like? Probably wouldn't look like us. I mean, go down to the local zoo. Th those are things that share a lot of your DNA, but they don't look like you. They look like a giraffe or a snake or a crab, or I don't know. So I don't think E.T. will look like us, but they might, you know, they might think a little bit like us. When I joined the SETI Institute, which is, gosh, it's about 20 years ago now, you know, we would point our antennas at nearby stars that were something like the sun, because we figured, after all, it's a sun-like star that we're orbiting around, so maybe ET is around a star like that. But we didn't really know if there were any planets out there. And now we do know. In fact, we know more. We know that on the order of at least a half of all stars probably have planets. And 5% and of those planets might be somewhat like the Earth. So all of that is very encouraging for our search for, you know, signals that would tell us somebody's out there. One thing to keep in mind is that the universe is very old. It's three times as old as the Earth. So, you know, life could have gotten started on, on countless other worlds, billions, literally billions of years before it happened on Earth. So there could be societies out there that are way beyond us. And what does that mean? They're going to invent their own successors. We're doing that. We don't have machines that can think now. but. Will we have thinking machines in another hundred years? Yeah, I think so. I think so. And that means most of the intelligence in the universe, in my opinion, is synthetic intelligence. Soft, squishy creatures with three-pound brains. Kind of interesting historically, but that's not the future. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.